So we make PFAS destruction systems. Our first one, named Eleanor, is right here behind me. And uh, PFAS has been in the news a lot lately, but for those who are unfamiliar, it's a forever chemical that's been in use since about 1930s. Uh, it was originally developed for Teflon, and uh, it has a lot of interesting properties. It's highly stain resistant, water resistant, corrosion resistant. So it made, it, it made its way into a lot of different products, both consumer products and industrial processes and firefighting foams. Um, in about the year 2000, we started to understand how bad it was for, the, for humans and other animals. Uh, so it started being phased out in a lot of different industries. Unfortunately, in some industries, like semiconductor manufacturing, there are no substitutes for PFAS. Also, there's plenty of PFAS out in the environment. Uh, out of 300 million Americans, it's estimated that about 200 million are, are, are exposed to PFAS. So what we do here at Aquaga is we build these systems that take PFAS contaminated water, put it under high pressure, high temperature, and high pH, and destroy the PFAS. Now what comes out the other end are safe organic salts uh, that you can just ship off to a standard water treatment. We're on site here at the Tacoma Wastewater Treatment Plant uh, doing a pilot demo on PFAS removal and destruction from municipal wastewater. We're out here removing PFAS uh, from the wastewater stream. We're doing seven different trials to vary the operational and capital cost of this equipment on a full-scale uh, wastewater PFAS remediation project. Now, it's really getting out there and understanding how this operates in the field. That is the critical thing. We know the science is solid. The science has been solid for years. Over the last several years, we've been getting the engineering secret. So now it's really about getting out there and showing that we can operate it.